Hey there folks, my name is Chad and this is Basin Barrel. Thanks for stopping in, it's nice to have you. Today we're going to be looking at and sampling Still Austin cast strength. Now the bottle we'll be looking at today is going to be the limited edition, uh, although what I've noticed is there's not too much of a difference between the limited edition and the standard edition. So let's get into it. So here in Colorado, still Austin seems to be exclusive to Total Wine. Uh, you'll want to jump over to their website and check availability where you're located. Uh, they've got a very nice interactive map on the site that you can use to do so. Now, they also include a bunch of information about all of their expressions. So let's go over some of that right now, real quick. The mash bill on this juice is going to be 70% white corn, 25% rye, and 5% malted barley. And this is going to be sitting at a proof point of 118. Now they do have two cash strength expressions. The standard, which is going to be 40 to $50, but I think I paid 44 for mine. And then the limited edition single barrel, which is closer to 70 or $80. On the website now, like I mentioned, they also offer up tasting notes for you to reference against your experience. So let's talk about that real quick. On the nose, we've got brandied cherries, muddled mint, and cinnamon toast. First of all, what's muddled mint? Is that a Texas thing? Who knows? On the palate, we've got grilled peaches, butterscotch pecan pie, and dark brown sugar. I love it when bourbons have some sort of a pie crust. It's one of my favorite notes. And now finishing up, we're gonna have rye spice, nutmeg, and clove. So it's gonna be a spicy experience maybe? Should be interesting to find out. So let's go ahead and give this a try and see how this bad boy hits. So through the power of video, I got my glass ready. Yeah, favorite part, best part of the video, right? So as you can see, the color is nice and dark. Looks really nice. I wonder, can you see my fingerprints on this glass? It's really, really showing some legs too. It's quite nice. So let's see here. How does it smell? Are we getting brandied cherries? Absolutely. Cinnamon toast? Absolutely. Now this muddled mint. I guess I could say I could get, I, I'm getting some mint, but I, I guess muddled mint, I'm not sure. That's very, very specific. <laughs> oh yeah, it smells absolutely fabulous. Definitely cherries in there. Definitely mint, definitely cinnamon. Do I get a toast? There is, I guess there is a little, almost a cinnamon, like a buttered cinnamon toast maybe. So, brandy cherries, check. Mint, check. Cinnamon toast, check. Let's kick it back and see how it tastes. Oh, that's good. So let's see here, referencing <clears throat> the palette notes that they suggested. Grilled peaches, butterscotch pecan pie, and dark brown sugar. Yeah, grilled peaches. I didn't think that that was possible. Definitely some char, 
some char, <clears throat> and then the peaches falls in below. It's quite nice. Definitely getting the pecan pie notes, the pie crust, absolutely getting that. It's quite fantastic actually. <clears throat> dark brown sugar, I don't know if that's more brown sugar, dark brown sugar that I'm getting or, or, or more of like a, like a molasses maybe. It seems richer <clears throat> than dark brown sugar. grilled peaches. Definitely got pecan pie in there. And I guess maybe not quite as rich as molasses, but <clears throat> I guess brown sugar would be a good step back. Can't barely speak. I'm salivating like it's just an explosion of flavor. It's absolutely fabulous. Now finishing, the finish goes on forever. Still just hitting. Definitely the rice spice. Got the nutmeg. I'm not getting a heavy clove. It could be intermingling with the nutmeg or the rice spice, but I'm not getting a heavy clove at all. Put it all together real quick. Boy, that's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very approachable nose. It doesn't, like if, it, if you get in there too deep, it doesn't give you that zinger. It's very, very pleasant, very, very pleasant nose. All right, I'm finished. Cherries, mint, cinnamon, peaches, definitely grilled peaches, pecan pies all over the place. The brown sugar is fantastic. The spice is hitting right down the center. Nutmeg on the sides, and I'm still, I'm, I'm getting like almost a caramely toffee also that's, that's sitting on the outer sides and just sitting there just kind of percolating. It's quite nice. That's an excellent pour. Strongly, strongly suggested. Wow, excellent. Okay, so I'd really like to thank you very much for watching, uh, especially if you've made it this far. Like, I really appreciate that. Um, this is kind of new to me, if you can't tell. <laughs> Um, I've been crash coursing myself in, in, in video recording and video editing and lighting and, and all the stuff that happens that I guess you don't see when you're watching the video and you don't really learn to appreciate that. So either way, I still want to thank you very much for hanging out. Um, just a short, poor suggestion. I do intend on doing more of these um, and I do look forward to uh, sharing all kinds of different bourbons and whiskeys with you all. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, like leave me a comment. Let me know what, what you'd like to see. Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing here. so. Any suggestions would be very helpful. So I just, again, I just wanna thank you very much for clicking on the link and watching it even to this point. Super appreciative. Have an awesome day. Thank you and stay saucy folks. Later.